All right, today we're going to check out this waterproof uh, case for iPhone 10 and up. It's made by Shellbox, capturing wonderful moments. So let's do some unboxing first. Let's pop this baby open. I don't think there's going to be that much to it. It does come with some accessories. And let's just get it right out. Take a look at it. Here she is. Bam, done. It's got a little cover here that you got to pull off. Got that. Set that over there. So this is the case itself, and it looks pretty simple. There's a, a number of catches all the way around. These yellow, or these orange, this one here is not, not tight, is it? Let's see. That's supposed to be on there like that. For some reason it popped off. This may have to go back. <laughs> so to open it, you just do this. All right, so to get this open, you're gonna see your accessories box, and you're gonna get this tool. It says open on it. <laughs> you need this to open this thing. You put it in here and it just pops. Without this, you're not gonna get this open because they are on there hard. I tried an apple tool and it did not work. Once that's done, you can come to the corners because if it's got a seal on it, it's because of the, uh, oh, that pops off like that. Yeah, I'm done. And, uh, this thing came out. <laughs> it's got a warning. Double check everything. Study the instruction book. Make sure you water test it correctly. Install the device in the case and ensure all ports are and seams are, are tightly closed. Okay, we got that. All right, so that's how you get the, the thing apart. And to put your iPhone in, you've got this thing over here and this doohickey here. And you can use this to move this. You see? So this tool is invaluable. You're going to need it, all right, to put everything together. So anyway, you slide your your iPhone in there. You smush this over, and then you close it all up. <laughs> so we're going to try that right now. All right, so to put the camera in, you want to have this facing forward. You have to slide this up, and you're going to slide the camera to this side. So it's going to go all the way over like that, and then you just set her down. It should set right in there. And this right here, I've already got it set there, but if you need it to change it, you know, if your camera was bigger, you could do it like that, and you could do it like that. So that keeps the camera in place. So so you know the way this button up here is how you turn it on. And what it does is it presses right up against the up volume there. You see that? All right, now, so we've got it set, and we want to get the screen, this uh, not the screen, but this on. And you'll notice there's rubber all the way around this. And there's a track right here that goes all the way around that. So what you have to do is make sure that you've got these indentations in the right spot. So if I did it like that, that's no good. So we gotta flip it over. And now these are even, right? So I can push it down, I can pull this and squeeze it over. Pull this, squeeze it over. Pull this and squeeze it over. And and we get these. Pull this and squeeze it over. And pull this and squeeze it over. And we got one last one over here. And there we go. All right, now we're good. All right, so now it's locked in there. It's ready to go. You notice I already had this on. I'm gonna show you how to put this on later in the video. Because um, I had to go back and redo the whole thing. So there's a couple ways. This this right here is a touch screen, so you can go like that, and it will work. But it's not super responsive. Or you can go like this, and it turns on. Or you can turn it off. And it works better once you've got the the, the camera sealed in there. So now it's ready to go. You can see there's the camera there, and um, now we can go in the water and check it out and see how it works. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so this is working. And I do believe, I don't know if you can see it, but this should be working too. So let's go in and let's do some video. Check it out. The water is cold. Now we're underwater. I'm just shooting this. Oh my God, it's freezing. Here we go.
That's it. One thing I noticed about this is that when you're in cold water, it doesn't become, your fingers get cold and so it's not as reactive. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff.